Today we are going to work on three-digit addition with regrouping in the ones place. Whenever you get started with an addition problem, you want to make sure that you read the problem before you get started. So let's do that up here. Our number says 246 plus 117. And whenever we add, we always start in the ones place. And here in the ones place, it says six plus seven. And you can do whatever you need to do to add that. You can add in your heart, you can draw it out, or you can count on your fingers. As long as you get the answer, you can work it out whichever way is best for you. So six plus seven is 13. Now, when you write 13, are you going to be putting the one and the three both in the ones place? And the answer is going to be no because you cannot have more than nine in any place value. So you're going to leave your three here in the ones place and you're going to put a one in the tens place. Now you're going to add one plus four plus one. And we've added three digits in the past and we're gonna take our time just like we did before. And we're gonna start off with one plus four. 1 plus 4 equals 5. And now we're going to go ahead and do 5 plus 1. And 5 plus 1 equals 6. Are we done with our problem? No. We have to go over and look at our hundreds place. And it says 2 plus 1. And you're going to do that and your answer is going to be 3. At the end of all of this, your answer, your sum, is 363. Here's another example at the bottom, just to show you how it looks visually, how we got to our answer, 363. So if you look here at the top, you have 246 at the top, and then you have 117 at the bottom. I know you see some circles there, but I'm gonna to explain to you what happened. So you're going to add six plus seven. They're adding all the circles in here. And remember, once you count 10 circles, you're gonna move it over. So that's what ended up happening over here. They counted up and before they even hit 13, they saw 10 circles, so they circled it. I put a box but they circled it and they moved it over and it became a 10 stick. And what was left was one, two, three circles in the ones place, just like the three up here. Now, if you come over here to the tens place, they added up everything. Remember before it was originally four plus one and this one was carried over. So we're gonna just count all the sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, now there are six tens. And you're gonna come over to your hundreds place and look, you have the two plus one. Two plus one, you count them all and there are three. So that's showing you here at the bottom, 363. We are gonna continue with two more examples just so you can practice so when you are on your own, you feel a little more comfortable. So here's our next problem. 526 plus 103. Again, we're gonna start in our ones place and we're gonna add six plus three. And like I told you before, you can pause the video, you can try to add however you want. You can count in your heart, draw it out, or count on your fingers. When you add the two, six plus three, you're going to end up with a nine. Notice it's just nine. So we don't have to carry anything. There's nothing that's gonna go into the tens place. So now we're going to do two plus zero and two plus zero is going to give you two. We're gonna go over to our hundreds place and five plus one is going to give us six. And our sum is going to be 629. And just remind yourself, you're not always going to be carrying. So don't just put a one here because that's what you're used to. Make sure you only put a one if your number is above nine. Now let's try this problem together. 
it says 348 plus 19. And again, we're always going to start in our ones place. We're going to start off with 8 plus 9. However you want to add it, 8 plus 9 is going to give you 17. So I'm going to put 17, but am I going to put it like this? No, because again, we cannot have any number larger than 9 in the ones place. So now we're going to carry our 1 over to the next place value, which is 10. Now we're going to add 1 plus 4 plus 1. And we'll take our time, and we're going to start off with 1 plus 4, and 1 plus 4 equals 5. And then we're going to do 5 plus 1, and 5 plus 1 equals 6. We're not done yet, so we're going to move over to our hundreds place, and we're going to ask ourselves, do we have more? And look, we do. But look here. It says 3, and there's a blank. Whenever you see a blank, that means 0. So 3 plus 0 equals 3. And your sum for this problem is 367. Go ahead and try some on your own. Also, try practicing reading and creating your own numbers and breaking them down. Have a good day.